During this campaign, I had the opportunity to, to meet Montrealers from all across the island in every borough. No matter where I was, the message was the same. We spoke about the, itch, the issues sorry, which are important to all of us. Housing, transportation, the environment, our security, but also our quality of life. Montreal is a city of many diverse communities, and we're proud of that. Groups who have their long-lasting institutions and traditions. Tonight, I'm proud to say we will continue to be the mayor. I will continue to be the mayor, and we will continue to be the team of all Montrealers. You have given us the privilege and honor to be your administration once again, and we take this responsibility very seriously. You can count on us to be there and to listen and to represent all of you. That's my message to you all tonight. Projet Montréal supporters celebrated their leader's big win as Montrealers decided to grant Valérie Plante a second chance to lead the city. The celebration kicked off early as Plant quickly took the lead. It was a tough campaign where polls showed Plant and her main rival, Denis Coder, in dead heat. In her victory speech, Plant promised to lead Montreal into its pandemic recovery, making it a safer, greener and more affordable city to live in. Uh, the economic uh, recovery, we want it uh, green, we want it inclusive. Housing is huge for all Montrealers, so we will continue to work on those things. And at the same time, we want to do things that make sense for people in their own neighborhood. Is it how do we clean better? How do we take better uh, care of our, our parks? Everything that people want to have at the very grassroots level. Plant has already announced who will lead the city's executive committee. Dominique Olivier, the former head of Montreal's public consultation office, she won her seat in Rosemont. Plant says that she will take a week or two to announce the rest of her cabinet. Gloria Enriquez, Global News, Montreal.